Hello everyone, welcome back to Five Days a Stranger, the game of brilliant writing and awkward silences like this one. There are some strange silences where there's almost no noise in the game whatsoever. I believe I've improved the audio by the way, in the last recording I accidentally completely clipped the audio for the games, uh, for the game audio, so some of the music sounded really harsh. Should be fixed now. So. Let's continue. I believe I was going to have a conversation with other people. I just spoke to Simone inside of there. See if anything else is unlocked. Probably not, because only that room back there seems to have been broken into and these were locked before, so... Probably s oh. Oh no, I've already been in here. That's right. Just the bathroom. Downstairs time. No, got down the stairs. There you go. Good, Trilby. Jim. Jim. Hi, Mr. Trilby. Do you know where the others are? Well, I don't know where Mr. Hardy is. But Miss Taylor's up in the library. The library. On the second floor. I think she broke the door open or something. Thanks. Alright, well I've already spoken to her. How are you feeling, buddy? I'm sure everybody's gonna have the same tale about their <laughs> wonderful sleep. Okay, I guess. I had this really horrible dream. Uh, but you don't want to hear about it. You're taking this imprisonment thing very well, I must say. Well, it's not that different to boarding school, really. Except there's no one to hit you across the knuckles when you talk too much at night. Oh my. This one's, that boarding school sounds like shit. Have you seen AJ? Not since, just, not since yesterday morning. He seemed pretty anxious about something. Did he say why? No. He just said something about getting to the bottom of all this. Then he left the room, and I never saw him again. Hmm. What are you reading there? Treasure Island. I found it in the, li in the living room. How are you liking it? Well, it's a bit heavy going. I think I prefer Terry Pratchett. Do you know where the others are? Wait, didn't I already ask that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, that's all. Okay, Mr. Trilby. Return to your book. Anyone going for a swim? Still locked. Ah, oh, no surprise. Let's see if he's returned to digging. Yes, he has. Okay. Hey, Mr. Hardy. Well, look who's up. How are you doing? Oh, I'm just fine. And when I find the way out, I'll be even better. Are you the one who dug up half the lawn? Yeah. I was trying to dig my way out of this place. But the ground gets really solid two feet down, and the wall foundations go even further. Well, that would explain the holes nearest the wall. What about the others? <sighs> Alright, I was looking for treasure. Happy now? You want some kind of metal? Just professional interest. You understand. Any luck? With treasure? Nah. Found some kind of pipeline running under the lawn, but not much else. What are you doing with that metal detector? It's actually part of the plan to get out of here. Oh, good. I've heard there's some kind of family tomb buried under the grounds. If I can find it, there might be another way to the surface. And I presume any family valuables I have down there would be an unexpected bonus. Hey, judge not lest ye be judged yourselves. Or something. You're a cat burglar, for God's sakes. I don't think I read that right. At least I have a sense of priorities. Well, when you found an escape route and saved us all, I'll be sure to apologize profusely. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure I messed that one up pretty badly. What is it? Judge not lest ye be judged? I think that's it. So how do you know the tomb's actually there? I don't. That's what the metal detector's for. How do you know there's anything to detect? It's probably all stone and dusty corpses. Actually, you'd be surprised how much metal can be found in a tomb. Belt buckles, coffin handles, candlesticks, gold, silverware, implying something. Oh, goodness me, no. Listen, the tomb could be on the other side of the grounds for all you know. Sure, but this is as good a place as any to start. And until I see some compelling evidence for its location, I'll continue my systematic sweep. All right. Can I borrow your metal detector? What do you want it for? I'm not sure yet. Brilliant. Well, I'll give you a shout when I'm finished with it. Are you finished yet? No, you can have it when I found the tomb. Okay. What about AJ? It hasn't shown up to his knowledge, alright. In fact, I don't think we'll be seeing him ever again. Why not? Well, if this is some kind of reality TV stunt, he must have been in on it. Maybe he's gone to file reports on how all the hidden cameras are working. I honestly doubt this is the work of the BBC, Philip. Do you have a better explanation? Not yet. Well, then. Have you seen the others? Last I saw Jim, he was in the dining room. Don't know about the Taylor woman. Thanks. Okay. Well, that's everybody except AJ, who's mysteriously gone missing. I'm kind of thinking he's dead. In fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's dead at this point. I mean, he's been gone for like a day, and he's in a creepy ghost home. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Okay, so where do I go now? Spoken to everybody. Still don't know where AJ is. I don't think I've been down here yet. Not that anything like is likely to have changed. Turn the TV again. Anything new? Our top story this morning. Police are still baffled by the apparent disappearance of television personality Simone Taylor. Ms. Taylor was due to film a documentary on the notorious Defoe Manor, but her camera crew reported that she never arrived. Police have been investigating the building, but so far have found no way to get inside. The Defoe family solicitor, Michael Chesham, has the only key to the building and is currently unavailable. Ms. Taylor's disappearance, coinciding with the disappearance of a local youth from a nearby boarding school, simply adds to the legend surrounding the mysterious Defoe Manor. So the police have been here, but they can't even get inside. Okay, well, nothing's changed in here. What do I have again? Wait a minute, did I ever read this article? I don't know if I did. I don't think I did. It's an article cut from a magazine called Treasure Hunting Monthly. The Mystery of Defoe Manor. Defoe Manor, one of the country's more notorious stately homes, is renowned for being a great source of untold wealth. But what is the curse that surrounds the creaking house? The mansion was built in the early 19th century by the legendary explorer Roderick Defoe in celebration of his retirement and marriage. Sir Roderick disappeared along with his only son on the 15th year anniversary of his wife's sudden death. Wait, have I read this? I'm not certain. After that, the house fell into the possession of a succession of heirs, 
most of whom died or disappeared in mysterious circumstances. The house was left abandoned after the last heir was thought to have died in 1946, until the recent appearance of Clarence Defoe, who managed to prove his connection to the lineage and inherit the house. That's right, he's only just recent, recently able to prove that he's connected to the, to the lineage. Hmm. No, go, go away. Jesus. I don't suppose the front door works now? Please? Nope. Okay, well, apparently he's not going to give me the metal detector until he finds the tomb. I could try to help him find the tomb, but... It's not like I need the metal detector for anything. <sighs> got a cord and I got a stick. Not sure what the hell I'm going to be doing with this stuff. Hey, Miss Taylor. Ah, hello, Mr. Trilby. That's no point. I've already talked to her. So what am I missing? Line's dead. Somehow I was expecting that. Yeah, no surprise there. I already spoke to him. Feels like I'm supposed to do something with the guy out here. In his quest. The quest for the lost tomb. But how in the hell can I help him? I don't have a shovel. I don't have my own metal detector. Are you finished yet? No. Okay, well, I'm stuck. I've talked to everyone. I've been around the entire house. Can't think of anything to do with my cord. I could start poking holes in the lawn. Maybe that'll help. Alright, well I'm going to keep looking around and I will be right back. Okay, I found the solution. Thanks to a walkthrough. I've started to rely on walkthroughs much more quickly now because I've realized if I don't, I usually just end up wasting my time. And once again, I'm totally glad I did. The solution is a very, 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 very pixel hunty solution. The solution is these two yellow books on the bookshelf, which contain the plans for Defoe Manor. So let's grab these tiny pixels. Yes, wonderful. A map is always handy. <laughs> you know what that made me think of? Helps to have a map. Guys of the Wolf. Anyone remember that horrendously horrible game? If you don't know what Guys of the Wolf is, look it up. It is hilariously bad. And made by a completely unethical and shitty company. Helps to have a map. Helps to have a map. Helps to have a map. Yes, it does. is a very old architectural plan of Defoe Manor. There's Defoe Manor, with the underground tomb clearly marked as being under the front yard. 
There's something odd about this map. Like there's something missing. No, it's not that. There's something here that doesn't belong. Something I don't recall seeing in the house. Hmm? And what's that? These plans are so scribbly, I don't even know what the hell I'm looking at. Hmm. Well, I can't even enter the front yard, right? I mean, the backyard is where the guy's digging, isn't it? Hmm. Well, it should at least get him to stop digging since he's going to realize that the tomb is not there. I suppose he'll probably give me the metal detector, but again, I don't even know what I'm going to be doing with it. What do I have to detect? Hey, Mr. Hardy. I found this old map in the library. Did you? Take a look. The tomb is quite clearly under the front yard. But this is the backyard. There's no way into the front yard. Sucks, doesn't it? Well, I guess that's my escape plan out the window. Thanks a bunch, buddy. Don't mention it. Can I borrow the metal detector? Why the hell not? Take away my hopes. Might as well take away my only worldly possession, too. Have fun with it. Thanks. Now do excuse me. Ah, Mr. Trilby. Gentleman thief. Taking away people's hopes and dreams since 1965. Okay. Now I have a metal detector, but again, what in the hell am I going to be doing with it? <laughs> Alright, well, it's obviously tied to the plans. And whatever... Whatever it is that's out of place. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to find out what's out of place because of how friggin' horrible the drawing for the map is. No, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. There you go. Okay. Something he doesn't recall seeing in the house. What even is this? This is a horrible map. Jesus. Okay, that's the front yard. I can't go there, obviously. That's the first floor. S some where is the first floor? Like, I don't... I don't understand what I'm looking at. I'm trying to build a mental map of the house, but I can't. Let me go inside. Let's see if anyone has anything to say about it. Can I show them it? just start using it on stuff. Alright, so those are the stairs that go upstairs. So I'm in this room. So what's here that isn't on the rest of this place? That's the backyard. That's where I just was. So according to the map, yes, 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 you go forwards into here and then you go left to another room and then you go down to another room. 
forwards, then left. That's this door. Wait. I think that's right. I mean, the room's on here, I think. I'm not sure about the direction. The direction's really confusing and to understand. Seems fine. The way this is designed makes it really hard for me to tell which direction is what. Use it on everything for good measure, just in case I miss something. It's probably upstairs, I'm betting. So I'm guessing the plans show an extra room that isn't actually here. That's my guess. Let's see what's up here. One, two, three, four, five rooms. One, two, three, four, five. All right, what's here that's missing? It shows five rooms. There's five rooms. There's that room, there's that room, and there's that room. Yeah, it's fine. Is it here? I think those are... Is it this? Is that the extra part? That snaky thing? Go, go, go down. Yeah, it's this wall. Yep, it's this wall. There's some stairs behind this wall. Okay. Now what? I can't use a metal detector on it. Do I use the plans on it? Apparently not. No, oh, damn it. God, the interface is terrible. Yeah, it's right there. So now what? Obviously, I need the metal detector for it, otherwise it wouldn't have given it to me. That's obviously what I'm supposed to do. So here's that little locked place out here by the pool. There's the room I just was in, and the wall leads to that. Yeah. Maybe I just use the wall, like knock on it. I'm not going to be doing anything with my bare hands, okay. There it is. According to the map, there should be a stairwell right behind the wall. I guess someone bricked over it. Okay, I can't do something with my bare hands. I mean, what do I need? Like a friggin' sledgehammer? the heck am I supposed to use? I haven't seen anything big enough to bust down a wall. Do I need somebody's help?
They said his bare hands, which implies that he's going to be doing it. He just needs a tool, but again, what tool? There wasn't a tool out in the garden, was there? I mean, he was digging stuff up. He should have a shovel somewhere. I didn't see one. I'm sure the bag of salt is not the solution. No. Okay, so I know exactly what I need to do, I just don't know how to do it. Wonderful. I think it's walkthrough time again. Okay, and there we go. Once again, I'm glad I used it. Apparently, I'm supposed to use the metal detector on this. I can track where this pipeline leads with the metal detector. The trail ends here. Okay, can I dig it up? Can I use a stick to dig it up or something? I feel like I'm missing a tool. Oh wait, I think I was missing the like four pixel hotspot that is the dirt. Yeah, the dirt is a tiny little hotspot. Okay, it's right there. There we go. And what have we here? Phillips laborings must have covered it up. Well, that didn't seem to do anything. Yeah, something tells me it opened the wall. That was an absurdly fiddly pixel hunty puzzle. What? Oh, never mind. Never mind about what I just said, but I mean, never mind about the opening the wall. Apparently, it drained the water. Christ! Oh, Christ! This is definitely the man I met on the landing. Presumably AJ. Looks like someone tied him to an iron hook at the bottom of the pool. But I think he was dead before then. His throat's been split open by some large-edged weapon. God, the stench. I've got to find the others. Dead? How? Murdered. He was stabbed to death, then tied to the bottom of the pool. Oh my god. You know what this means, don't you? We are the only ones in this house. The killer has to be one of us. Not necessarily. I don't think any of us could engineer. Shut up. It was you, wasn't it? You killed AJ, and now you're covering your tracks. Philip, you're being absurd. Why would Trilby tell us where the body is if you wanted to hide it? He's covering his tracks. He was the last to arrive. Don't tell me you're not a bit suspicious of him. Uh, look, what happened to AJ was a terrible thing. But if we let it tear us apart, we could all go the same way. He's got a point, Philip. Oh, I see. You're all in on this together. Philip, shut up. As far as I'm concerned, there's no one I can trust anymore. From now on, it's every man for themselves. Philip. Idiot. He's shaken. We all are. So, what do you think? About AJ, I mean. I'm not really sure. I think we're being haunted. Oh. Well, at least someone's keeping their head. Look, I'm not exactly in love with such an unscientific idea as a murderous ghost. But nothing other than the supernatural could have engineered this situation. 
And this house has a bad history. A history I think it's time I started looking into. Well, you do whatever you want. I think I'm going to look into AJ's death with a slightly more sensible attitude. Where's Jim? Someone should tell him about AJ. I think he went upstairs. I'll go look for him. Father? Jim? Jim, is that you? What are you doing, Father? F what? Father, no! No, don't! Father! Father! <laughs> Mr. Trilby? Day three. Jim? Sorry, Mr. Trilby, you wanted me to wake you? Did I? You remember yesterday? You told me about AJ, then said you were going to look into the house. Then you asked me to wake you this morning so you can get started. Yes, I remember. Thank you, Jim. Anytime. Okay, more lovely dreams. So, that panel and the pool had absolutely nothing to do with the wall. So there's still a secret stairwell inside of there that's been bricked over. Which means I still need a sledgehammer or something like that. Hey, Philip. Hello, Philip. Leave me alone, cat burglar. Feeling any better this morning? Oh, I'm just peaches. Now go away. What are you doing? None of your business. Are those maps of the house? <sighs> yes, they're maps. I'm going to find a way out, then I'm going to get away from this madhouse once and for all. And after that, if I ever see your smug, pinstripe-wearing face again, I'll be a million year it'll be a million years too soon. Come on, Phil, none of us could have possibly have killed AJ. You want to bet? You're over six foot. You could have done it easily. Maybe I could have, but I didn't. Prove it. You know I can't. Well then. You know, your attitude could be the death of us. It's certainly going to be the death of you if you don't get out of my face. Lovely chap. Have you seen the others? No. All I know is that they're not here bothering me. Why don't you go join them? What? What the f- I just found it out here like this. Do you know whose it is? Why is there a car in the backyard? What the hell? Yeah, it's mine. Did you bring it in here last night or something? Of course not. It was in the front yard, and there's no way into the front yard. Maybe someone's trying to help us. Maybe. I'll go and find the others and let them know about it. Sure. How the hell did my car get back here? <laughs> what the? Okay, well, maybe it's got something in it. Maybe I've got some tools in it. It's definitely my car. How it got to be here is something I certainly can't explain. Great. My lockpicks are here. They must have fallen out of my pocket while I was getting out of my car. I'll hide an emergency pick in the lining of my tie, like I usually do. Smart. Anything else? There's nothing else in the car, and not much point in driving it when there's nowhere to drive to. What about the boot? Nah, guess I can't access it. So okay, the lockpicks alone are gonna let me get to many, many places I couldn't before. There we go. Ooh, 
pickaxe. Well, that'll do instead of a sledgehammer, I think. Nothing in there? Nope, bear. Ooh, what's all? I can't think what to do with it. All right, so I've got a workbench available if I need it. If I need to get some work done, I've got a bench. I kind of want to just get to work straight away on... Trying to get into that wall. I might have all the stuff I need for it, but there's so many doors upstairs that I can lockpick now. I've got to go check them out. Yeah, let's go check them out before I try to open this wall. I think I did it, but it still won't open. There must be a deadbolt on the other side or something. Ah, crap. There we go. Unlocked. Okay, at least that one works. This place looks fancy. Is that blood? No, scratches. I hate that I open this up and I can't even see what's inside. Like, I gotta move out of the way. Okay, there's nothing. Oh, except a book. Hmm. What book? Oh, it's a diary. The Diary of Sir Roderick Defoe. March 5th, 1805. My god, that is old. Work on the house is going well. It should be completed by the end of July. Belinda is already excited about the forthcoming wedding, and spends many hours of the day going over even the smallest details over and over again. Not since her early courtship has she been so giddy with joy. It softens my heart to see her smile, and she smiles often. I am wondering why I didn't retire sooner. August 12, 1805 I am only now having the opportunity to write this, as, as it has been a most hectic day. The wedding went without a hitch, and the house was ready for us to move in as soon as the ceremony was over. Belinda insisted on consummating our marriage immediately, I am sure, dear diary, this house can expect to hear the laughter of children before 1806 is out. February 14th, 1806. A romantic day for our announcement. The physician has just left, confirming that Belinda is with child, a child we can expect to be born in June. We have already decided to name the child Matthew if a boy, or Jane if a girl. June 28th, 1806. Belinda is dead. I will never forget her face, ash gray, contorted with pain. The child is healthy. Would that it had never come about, and spared me this fresh hell. May 24th, 1820. Matthew showed me the painting of the grounds he had created. I worry about the boy. Why can't he have healthier interests like soldiering? The painting was fair, I suppose. But I would rather my child be less of a weakling. June 28th, 1821. It is the anniversary of the night I unleashed a horror. A horror which I tonight shall remove from this world. May God forgive me. That's the last entry. Oh my God. It's no wonder there's so much pain and misery around this house. Jesus. Look, if there's anything that could, if there's anything that could cause a haunting, I think it'd be that. Empty. And empty. 
What about the bed? I'm not sure I'd feel right sleeping in a dead man's bed. This must be the room Clarence Defoe had picked for himself and his wife. Can I examine the scratches? They don't look like they were made by human fingernails. Huh, what were they made by then? Funny, there seems to be some little scratches on the wall just under the window. What the? Well, what do you know? It opened. Uh, of course, since it overlooks the backyard, this doesn't help me much. Oh. Hmm. Can I... Rappel down with a cord? <laughs> I'm not sure why I'd want to. Nope. All right, let's go work on the wall. Okay, let's try the pickaxe. Knock, knock. <laughs> that was far more effective than I ever could have, could have possibly hoped for. Sweet. That is a nice hole, Mr. Trilby. Good job. What the hell? It's like a freaking torture basement. They're quite firmly attached to the wall. Are these manacles? What the hell is this room used for? Is there nothing else in here? No, that's it. Just a basement and some manacles. Not a single chair, table. I try to cut down the tree. This is not a one-man job. Fair enough. Would you like to help me? Let's go find the others. See if I can tell them about the creepy dungeon. Jim? Yes? Yeah, have you seen Philip and Simone? Mr. Hardy's in the dining hall, shouting at everyone who comes in. Miss Taylor said she was investigating AJ. Okay, so she's in the pool. What are you what are you up to? I'm just looking for stuff on the house. Why? Don't know. Yes you do, Jim. Why? Because I want to help. But I'm not sure what I could do. Hmm. Do you want to tag along with me? Sure. I promise not to get in the way. Excellent. I've got a buddy. What do you think what do you think we should do next? I think we should be doing as much as uh, much as much research into the house as we can.
Alright, let's go speak with Simone. And also see if... Uh, what's his name? Jim? Yeah, let's see if Jim can help me cut down the tree. I don't even know why I'd want to cut down the tree, but... Why not? Are you going down there, Mr. Trilby? Coming? Uh, no, I think I'd rather sit this one out. I'll go do some more research in the library. Well, whatever you want. Damn it, now I'm gonna have to go get him again. Simone? Oh, Trilby. How's the ghost, the ghost hunt going? Well, someone brought my car into the backyard. <laughs> that, that was kind of strange. Yes, I noticed. It's your car, is it? Did you bring it in here? Trilby, I have no idea where it came from or how. I'm just glad to see a bit more color about the place. I see. How are you feeling? Fine, thank you. You're not too shaken about AJ? I don't have time to be shaken about AJ. Whoever did this to him might still be around. Once we're safely out of harm's way, then I'll think about being shaken. What are you up to? I'm investigating. Like we all should be doing. So what do you conclude? Well, I found his wallet. He had ID for almost every government agency I can think of. Everything from MI6 to CID. Really? I think he must have been sent to investigate the house. Some kind of secret mission. That's why he never told us anything about himself. It would make sense, actually. And I'd say this constitutes a pretty spectacular failure of that mission. Any clues on who did this? It must have been a pretty big fellow, I think. Armed with a large slashing weapon like a machete. And I found a piece of leather. Leather? Like Philip's jacket? No, it wasn't black. Brown leather. Like from an old-fashioned blacksmith's apron. There was a torn off piece in AJ's hand. I see. Apron. Didn't I see an apron? On the person, uh, the murderer I saw in my first dream? Were they wearing an apron? I'm not certain. I feel like they were. Do you know where the others are? Well, I already know the answer to this question, but I'll ask it anyway. Sorry, Trilby. I haven't seen either of them since yesterday. Hmm. All right. Well, now is not a good time to disturb the dead. Okay, let's see if I can pointlessly cut down this tree. Just gotta go get Jim again. Also, I should take Jim into the torture basement and see what he thinks of it. Yes. Okay, let's see if this works. Jim, give me a hand with this. Oh my god, I actually found a solution to something. Excellent. God, the amount of work actually to use a saw like that to cut down a tree that big would be immense. Why did we cut the tree down, Mr. Trilby? I'm not exactly sure. I know it makes me feel better. 
Yeah, I really don't know why I did that. There's not enough left to climb. Where did the rest of the tree go? As a remains of that accursed old tree. What do you mean accursed? It was perfectly fine. What was the point of that? I didn't seem to accomplish a single damn thing. And I've still got the saw, so apparently I still have a use for it. Yeah, okay. Let's take him into the creepy basement. Hey Jim, what do you think of this place? Uh, sorry Mr. Trilby, but I don't like the feel of this place. I'll go wait for you in the library. God, he's so scared all the time. Useless, Jim. Well, you did help me cut down a tree, so I guess you're not completely useless, but still, come on. We're supposed to be partners. So again, why in the hell did I cut down that tree? I wonder if it, the entire thing was just a joke. Like, you have a, you have a saw, so why not cut down a tree? Maybe it actually didn't help. I don't know. I mean... There's the window that looks into the backyard. Maybe that had some sort of connection to it? Okay, yes. Yeah, this one's the one with the... The deadbolt or whatever. I lockpicked it, but I still can't get inside. Okay. I wonder if I can die here. I better save. The roof is tiled in expensive red slate. It's a tile that must have come away slightly during the rebuilding. The window must lead into the other locked room on this floor. Mm, can I use my grolly? There's nothing in that particular area for the hook to catch on. Alright, let's try this. Ah, excellent. Bingo. Oh god, it's a child's room. That's not creepy at all in a haunted house, no. It's a teddy bear, even. Yay. It's, for all intents and purposes, empty. An artist's easel with a blank canvas. How philosophical. I don't paint. A single bed. Maybe this room has been left as a spare or something. And why the hell not? What the hell am I going to do with the teddy bear? I'm not very tired. There's nothing in here but this old diary. Oh god. Another diary. The Secret Diary of Matthew Defoe. June 28th, 1814. Today is my 8th birthday. Nanny said I would soon be a big strong man like my father. I wanted to see him today, but he wouldn't come out of his study all day. Nanny says he always gets cross on this day, but it's not because of me. August 5th, 1817. I found a new friend. He is behind the door in the kitchen, and he doesn't have a name. He likes me to sit and talk to him, but Father gets very angry when he finds me doing this. I asked Father who the boy behind the door was, but he told me there was no boy behind the door and it was just a silly fantasy. May 24th, 1820. I showed Father the painting I just finished. 
He said it was quite good, which is the best thing he has ever said. While he was in the good mood, I asked if I could go and look behind the door in the kitchen. He pretended not to hear me. June 28th, 1821. My father has done a terrible thing. All this time he pretended there was no boy behind the door, and now this. There is blood all over the kitchen floor. I will do what I can. Then, we can be a family together, and be happy. That's where it ends, except for a little ink blot just underneath the text. Okay. Wonderful. Well, we know what the door in the kitchen is. It's the one I just busted down. The one with the manacles inside of it. I can go in there again. I don't think anything would be different, though. No. Let's go see what Jim thinks. Let's see if he thinks we could we should still investigate, because I think I've done a pretty good job investigating the history of this house so far. What should we do next? I'll still do more research. Would you like to take a look at my research? Nope. And what about this teddy bear? What could I do with the teddy bear? I've got to do something with it. It's a very old Victorian era stuffed bear. Hmm. Is it like an offering for the spirit? Nope, <laughs> at least not here. Hmm. Is there anything inside of the diary that I need to use? Blood all over the kitchen floor. Mm hmm. Little ink blot just underneath the text. Can't think of anything to do with that information. Hmm. Well, I think I'll save that for the next episode. The mystery is growing even deeper. I'm not too happy with some of the rather fiddly adventure game puzzles, but the writing is really sharp. I'm really intrigued about what's going to happen next and what's been going on here. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.